Hello, in this video we're going to have a look at the survey add-on for Gravity Forms. So the first thing I'll do is I'll show you a simple survey that um, I think is the one that comes with Gravity Forms itself as example. So we have a set of fields here where we can change the order of them. We then have the uh, standard I agree, don't agree type fields. You can also change the wording of these. So for this one, I've added another column don't want to answer and you can put them together in groups rather than just each individual one you can also uh, rank things in order have a star rating question or radio buttons you can also have check boxes as well and you can put in text And the way I add, there's a thank you message at the end. So the way you add a survey to a page is you simply use the short code from Gravity Forms with the ID. So I want the title displayed and the description displayed. But you don't have to remember all the codes because when you insert it, you can just click on the add form and then choose the form you want, tick the boxes and it inserts it for you. So that's how you put one on your page. Let's have a look at how this was set up in the first place. So I have forms, I can go to edit it. And it shows my form and like Gravity Forms always does, here's the fields down the right hand side. So you can see the survey field. It's called a rank field, so we've got the choices in here. We can put them in the order we want as well. Um, there are some predefined choices as well. So there's some predefined values in here which makes it easier for you if you're going to be using the same questions over and over again because you, once you've created your own you can use save as new custom choice and they'll be added to yours. So you see I've got one here called clever, how clever do you think I am type questions questions so if I say insert choices that one will replace what's there so that's nice and easy then we've got the uh, survey field which has a slightly different way of setting it up but you have a set of columns so you can add and remove columns you can drag them to reorder them if you want a weighted scoring system you can enable scoring and then give them a value each for all, that sort of thing. We can enable multiple rows, so we can put a second row in, a third row in if you want. So you can see that one there simply is the same idea, except I've added another column at the bottom. You see this one here is pretty much the same, except we've got multiple rows, so it goes on more rows. Then we've got the rank survey questionnaire. So we've got the rank. Again, we can move them into the order we want. We've got the predefined choices or a, a saved choice we have. We've got a tick box version. Again, so it's set to radio buttons, put them in the order. You can use the import and ex export your choices on that one as well. Then we've got a single line of text and they're all controlled by one extra button on the field side. So on the right hand side in advanced fields, we've been 
given an extra button called survey and when we click on survey it'll add one to the bottom here it is and so we can put a description in we can change the question Uh, this little green thing here is because I have Grammarly running, so shall I turn Grammarly off, I think, to uh, stop the distraction? I apologise for that. So we've got a description, our survey question. So it appears up there, all questions underneath, that's fine. Your description. You can make the question required so they have to answer it before they can finish the survey. You can do that on any question. You can also put a bit of custom validation and classes for um, styles. So this description displacement is where would you like the um, description that we've just typed in? Where would you like it above or below the inputs? Custom validation is if they enter an invalid uh, question, which is not so, not so easy to do, of course, with this survey questionnaire. And the advanced features, you can have hidden fields, which wouldn't make much um, use in this. But you might use conditional logic. So conditional logic means that I can make this question appear or disappear depending on the result of another question further up in the survey. So if you're going to go down and ask a question and there are following questions, you can enable this logic so they only show if that first question is answered the way you expected it to be. And if it isn't, then those follow-up questions don't need to be shown. And that is a very useful feature because that makes a questionnaire survey much easier to follow. Um, whenever I talk about that, I always think of the uh, tax form you have to fill in at the end of the tax year, which just goes on. You know, if you don't answer this question, go to question 19 and you have to go flicking through pieces of paper trying to find out where question 19 starts with this. Gravity forms, we can make all questions that are not applicable disappear. So that's what you uh, do to create your questionnaire. Then you put it on a page so it gets used. Then um, I don't want to save it. So then in entries, you'll end up with the results of your questionnaire. So here's the fields and the results. And then after you've got those, you also have a statistical survey results. You can set a date range if you've been running the survey for a long time. And you can see here we've got some, some of the scoring system live. And here's the questions. The only thing I would say about questions, this is um, reminded me, of course, that if you create a questionnaire and then you change the questions halfway through when people are collecting data, that can invalidate your results to quite a degree. So once you've made your questionnaire live, don't run it, run it, uh, edit it and run it again. Uh, if you're going to do that, then there is a duplicate option. So you can duplicate the form and start a new one. But here on the results, you can see one person agreed there, one person agreed there, one there, one there. Two people didn't want to answer on this question. So you can see the results across the range of everybody. And the radio buttons have a slightly different way of showing the data. So. So that's it. This uh, survey add on is part of the developers uh, option which is the most expensive package but the developers option with gravity forms um, which would give you unlimited use on unlimited sites uh, survey is one of the uh, add-ons I use the most and that's why I thought it was a good idea to do a review about it so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you didn't uh, thumbs down if you want to make a comment please do so and don't forget to subscribe for more videos of the same. But uh, for now, thank you very much for watching and goodbye. For more info, visit wpbusinessclub.com.